this video will guide you through the whole process of distillation with this particular machine. So we've got 20 liters of mesh specially prepared to be distilled on this machine. This, uh, this particular batch boiler is 25 liters of capacity and to perform distillation we need to fill it up with exactly 20 liters of uh, mesh. So we just open it up. <coughs> Easy. Use simple things that you can find around your house and fill it up. So we filled up our vessel, it's 20 liters, and we allow some space for the steam inside, that's why it's not filled up completely. So we close it down. And in case to make a real spirit, we have to produce uh, raw spirit first. For this case, we've got special small column that actually will produce low quality raw spirit out of this system. Set it up, it's very easy, just put it on, screw it. Open it up, allow water go through the cooler. And switch it into the power supply. And this is pretty it. We just have to put some vessel, collection vessel to collect our spirit. And now we just have to sit there, relax and uh, wait when the spirit will come out. After we switch our system into the power grid, it's gonna take approximately one hour uh, for the steam to be generated and first spirit come out. Uh, so we've got first drops coming out uh, In a matter of few minutes the flow will be increased dramatically and uh, Our cooler will get Quite warm so we in the case we will need to increase the water flow a little bit So this is a raw spirit and we don't have to worry about uh, quality at all because later on when we're gonna produce our spirit we will be uh, fractionally separate all the fractions that will be in this spirit now we're just taking everything that's coming out you see the flow getting faster Now our flow is very fast and very soon we're gonna get all the spirit that actually used to be in a wash. Uh, one most important note, so if you think you're gonna save some water and switch it on after first drops coming out, you're gonna be wrong because you can end up with a steam of spirit around your kitchen. So it's better to switch your water on just as soon as you switch your system into power. So as soon as you're gonna get first spirit coming out, it's gonna be cool and nice. So we can see that actually flow decreased dramatically. We've got last load of two liters, uh, our home brewed stuff. And after this one uh, will be filled up up to the two liters. When it's going to be full, we're going to stop this distillation, and the next step uh, will be detailed information and uh, uh, guidance of how to make real spirit. Because this one is just a semi product for the real spirit that we're going to make after this one will be finished. 
So this is the end of distillation. Our uh, spiritometer, our calorimeter shows us that there is left no more than 10% in our distillate. So we just finish our distillation, switch off the machine. So we finished our first step, it was distillation. Now we just have to dispose all the stuff we still got in our uh, distiller. So it's very simple, just put this back on. So to prevent unpleasant odors and steaming, we can open up the cold water tap. After we disposed all the uh, stuff that left in the distiller, we just have to clean it up a little bit. To clean it up, just uh, get some water in, open up the well. That's it.